the, uh, the pleasure of uh, introducing uh, a fellow that I get to work quite closely with, the, uh, the Honourable uh, John Malloy, our Minister of Training Colleges and Universities. But before I do that, I just want to offer a, a word. Uh, uh, some of you may know that in a previous lifetime, I was the owner-operator of the original Chapters bookstore. And uh, we made uh, and took a real interest in, in, in uh, made the time to uh, promote literacy uh, uh, because it's the bridge, it's the link. You know, the mayor mentioned infrastructure. If we're not building our human infrastructure as well, uh, we're really spinning our wheels. And uh, um, it's, uh, it's important that we do that. Uh, I'm, I'm a kid who didn't finish high school. I went back to school as a mature student, had a second chance at Mohawk College, and uh, subsequently was privileged to uh, study at some other um, institutions. So I, I get it, and uh, the minister gets it, and I can tell you Sophia Adzinolidis has been a real champion I'm very of this, pleased uh, to say today that our government, uh, despite uh, some very, very tough circumstances, is coming to the table with an additional $44 million over the next three years to help support literacy and basic skills training in the province of Ontario. So let me tell you, let me break down the, the, the 44 million a little bit for you. Of that 44 million, five million of it is going to be invested in uh, groups and organizations to make sure that uh, we update uh, our curriculum, that we standardize our curriculum, to make sure that we can provide a better teaching and better learning experience for uh, students across the province. We're also going to be providing funding out of that five million for better data management systems and equipment. And all of that may sound uh, uh, a little bit back office and a little bit uh, uh, obscure, but the fact of the matter is, if we can give organizations and teachers the tools that they need, they're going to be able to deliver a better program to the students. They're going to be able to be part of a network where they're going to be able to compare and, and, and uh, uh, trade information and, and make sure that, uh, that we can see what's going on in the system and address uh, 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 the strengths and weaknesses that go, go forward. The other $39 million uh, works out, of course, to be $13 million a year. And what we are going to be doing is adding that amount of money to the base funding of various groups and organizations, colleges, school boards, and community organizations across this province, as well as adding it to uh, those organizations that provide literacy uh, training online. So $13 million a year will now be part of the permanent literacy budget for that very, very important network across uh, the province of Ontario. In total, our government will be spending over $87 million on literacy and basic skills training to support about 50,000 people across the province of Ontario, including 1,400 people in Hamilton. So those that will be benefiting from this increase are the Hamilton here locally, of course, the Hamilton-Wentworth District School Board, the Hamilton Regional Indian Centre, the Hamilton-Wentworth Catholic District School Board, Mohawk College, the Hamilton and District Literacy Council, and the Canadian National Institute for the Blind. All will receive permanent increases to their operating budgets to allow them to serve more clients, the funding uh, is apportioned on a formula basis, but I've got to tell you the minimum that they will receive is an 8.3% boost to their bottom line. So I want to uh, uh, offer, of course, my thanks and uh, congratulations to everyone here who's representing those organizations for all the work they do. I want to, of course, go beyond Hamilton to that entire network of organizations across the province. Uh, as I say, community groups, school boards, colleges that offer literacy and basic skills. I want to thank the various umbrella groups who advocate and help coordinate literacy uh, uh, training, the volunteer boards that run many of these groups, and of course the boards of education, the teachers and administrators who reach out to the students, and of course the volunteers which are such a backbone when it comes to many community groups and organizations. All, this entire list is very, very important, but you're not that important. 
because the most important group that I'm saving for last, I think you all know, is the students. It's the learners. The most important part of the whole literacy and basic skills uh, uh, system and programming. And so I know we have many learners here today, and I want to thank you.